Hey everybody, it's Mike Cooch. I want to show you in this quick video uh, advanced use of the Facebook Pixel events and parameters. This is actually something that I learned just recently is that you can use any event parameters that you'd like inside of your Facebook Pixel events. Um, if that is all Greek to you, don't worry about it. You probably do not need to utilize this strategy at the moment. Um, at some point or another, if you continue doing your Facebook advertising and tracking things and setting up funnels and all that good stuff, this will make sense to you and come back and refer to it and uh, you'll, you'll like the benefits of what I'm going to cover here. Um, so because we can use any event parameters that we like, we can create some really cool tracking scenarios. I kind of explained that here, but you can see right here I have created uh, events and parameters uh, here for view content and here for lead just to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So um, content name, that's a standard parameter that you'll see. But then I've added these um, uh, custom parameters in here. So content category, content subcategory, and funnel stage. And I've done the same here for the leads. Content category, content subcategory, and funnel stage. So why is this cool? Well, uh, in this particular case, this is the pixel tracking um, that I'm using for some chiropractic uh, Facebook ad campaigns, uh, doing some lead generation for a chiropractic office. And so what I've done here is I've put content category Cairo, content category Cairo. So what this allows me to do is now I could say, you know, show me any view content pixel that fired with the content category Cairo. So uh, that way, if I, you know, wanted to easily be able to create a custom audience around anybody who has, you know, viewed any content related to Cairo or was a lead for the content category Cairo, then I can easily do that and, um, you know, just create some cool, you know, tracking and, and uh, custom audiences and lookalike audiences around that data. I also have a content subcategory of new patient. Okay, so I could have um, ads that are out there running for existing patients, right? But this is for new patients. So again, same thing. I can say, hey, Facebook, you know, build an audience around anything that's Cairo new patient. And then again, funnel stage, lead magnet. Um, I suggest that if you are creating, um, you know, funnels where you have step-by-step -step process that you have standard language for each stage of the actual uh, funnel. So you could have lead magnet, tripwire, um, you know, um, core offer, uh, upsell, you know, one, upsell two, OTO one, OTO two, things like that. Um, that will help you identify you know, what particular stage somebody has made it to in your funnel. And again, this just gives you some cool ability to, um, you know, do retargeting, do audiences, all that good stuff based off of funnel stage. But you can do, you know, whatever you want to in here. So this is just what I've decided to do for our campaigns. Um, it, it gives me, you know, the kind of information I'm looking for. I've seen people that are doing this um, to track things like um, the uh, kind of degree of sophistication of the uh, content that somebody is reading, right? So on my, you know, blog, I could have content that's geared towards beginners, content that's geared towards experts, Right, and so if I have content that is geared toward experts, and I tag that, then um, I will, you know, retarget those audiences in the future with more expert content. So I'm not sending them content that's kind of at the, you know, the wrong level for what they're going to be interested in. So I just make sure that, you know, where I'm spending my advertising dollars and where um, I'm uh, directing my content is on target, and I'm going to get the most value from it, and you know, my audience is going to get the most value from it. So some really cool things that you can do there. You know, the critical thing is just understand you can use any uh, parameters that you'd like in here to customize these events in whatever way is most valuable to you.